now what you're going to do is rape train right here just like this going back and forth it's a pretty good spot it's not the best spot ever but it's nice for now anyways once a lot of them were gathered up together just shoot at them and I failed and didn't hit any of them how awesome is that all right Yeah, just be careful to not get hit too much, but if you have Juggernaut Pro and Juggernaut at this, sorry, Juggernog, most people call it Juggernog, or Juggernaut, because they don't really care, but yeah, this will cause the zombies or you to slip. You you won't slip and fall down, but you'll slide on it. So you, you just want to do this here, get a few points, you know, all that awesome stuff. The, this liquid fire is tons of ammo, plus you'll probably get a max ammo, so um... It's not a bad thing to use it this much. Okay, I think we have enough, but we probably don't. Um, <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. Anyways, we want to open this door right here. And no, we don't have quite enough yet, but we're going to want to buy the PDW and replace our M14 with it. So until then, let's just get headshots with our M14 to get points quickly. I believe it's 1,200 for the PDW. Yep, that's a definitely a good gun. It's an SMG. Do we have enough on oh, it yet? Any barriers I can rebuild? That would help a lot. Nope. All right. Go back to that other spot so that you don't die, because you probably will. <laughs> yep. Let's go back here. Da na 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 na. And just go back and forth in this sort of pattern. This is what's called a rape train or just a train. If you don't want to make it sound offensive to anyone, I guess. Which, um, it could offend people, but it's not meant to be. Some people just might be so. Whatever. Shoot them once in a while. The liquefier goo stuff does, um, chain to other zombies and makes them explode too, so... Just shoot it when you think it's the right time. Okay, uh, we do have enough points for the PDW, but we aren't going to buy it quite yet. If I get trapped, I, I would be very mad. Okay, insta-kill. I'd recommend shooting and or knifing. Shoot if there's a lot. Okay, um, let's leave those ones for now. And rebuild this a little. Just to get me some extra points. Okay, then we're gonna buy the PDW. PDW. And this is basically the strategy. Oh, good. I did replace the right one. Okay, I thought I replaced the Slicker Fire. Then I'd be in trouble. Anyways, the PDW and Slicker Fire are basically the only guns that you're gonna need. You don't need to pack a punch and you can't pack a punch the, the slick fire anyways what we're gonna want to do now is kill these guys nuke there we go and head along this edge here and this thing will make you slide kaboom there we go the mystery box is here if you wish to use it I'd recommend not unless you have got mule kick at this point and if you don't then don't use it because you're going to go into this room right here and do a different, better sort of a uh, rape train. Yeah, but I would recommend not even using the mystery box on solo. It's not going to help you that much. Because there are some really good wall guns, the PDW and the AN-94. It's cool if you get the chance to buy both of them, but you might not. Anyways, this is how we're going to rape train here. Just go back and forth. And dislocate your gun on the edge. You probably won't fall. Okay, I just had to pause there for a moment because I um, had to talk to some family members. Anyways, when you gather up quite a bit of zombies here, you just want to shoot them every once in a while. And you're trying to reach 6,000 points. So we're going to build the Galvanuckles. Uh, not build, sorry, buy the Galvanuckles. Um, there's 6,000. Oh gosh, they hit me a lot there. 
That was really weird. Okay, we almost have enough, but even when we do, I don't think we'll go down to buy them. Because they're in this weird elevator shaft thing. But we're going to wait a little while until we get some more free perks. Yeah, so the PDW is definitely a good weapon. Gets you a lot of points and has quite a bit of ammo. Okay, now we have enough to get the Galvanicles if we want to. But we aren't gonna yet. Um, hmm. This one knife would take forever on a boss round now. But we can still use it. And it is a boss round now, so. We're just gonna use this against these guys. And if our free perk turns out to be Mule Kick, then, um, we are going to buy another gun that I'll show you soon here. Um, that is if that's what they drop. Because it could be at this point either Mule Kick or Double Tap. Hopefully it's Mule Kick. And if not, um, oh well. I don't really want to stay here that long because there's uh, another place that's much better. And will definitely help you more. Come on, die already, guys. Okay, I'm taking too many hits. <laughs> na 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 na. Pshh. La la la. Let's dance in a circle. Mm hmm. Come on, die already, dudes. Come on, dudes. Come on, dudes. Dude, why don't you like die already, man? Yeah. You know? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, this might take a really long time. <laughs> but at least we'll get a free perk. There we go. Sorry about other noises. People are microwaving some food, if you can hear that. Knifey, knife, knife. Yeah, this will take a while. If you didn't notice already. <laughs> but this is my strategy. This is how I do it. This is how we got to round 40. So, yep. Oh gosh. Crawl these zombie thingies. Come on, seriously. I haven't knifed you in a while. Oh. Said that just so I was gonna. Okie doke. Okie doke. It's annoying when they hop on the ceiling and stuff. Okay, let's go up here for the heck of it. Maybe it's better down there. I don't know. Either way, it takes a, a long time. Sometimes it does help if you crouch when you're knifing. But, um. Sometimes you get hit more when you do that. Yay, this is the last one. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> oh, dang. I got three knives in there. I'm a pro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Don't trap me. Do not trap me. Hopefully another one doesn't spawn. Come on. Be the last dude. Yay. Alright. I think a few more knives should kill him. There we go. We got our free perk. Yes, it's mule kick. Alright, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to go here. Carefully drop down here. The Galvan Knuckles are in here. Buy them. There's 6,000. Okay, carefully. want to jump into here. Um, there's nothing in that room. Now we just want to fall into here. And yeah, we're right here now. 
Anyways, AN94, by that, that's our third gun since we got Mule Kick. Um, and open this. And then go into this room and just drop down. And this is what I would do. Um, I would spend the rest of the game here and just raid train forever. I will show you guys what to do for a little bit, then I'll just end it because I don't feel like getting to a high ground right now. This is kind of just what you want to do. It's very easy to rape train in here. Just use the Slicker Fire, PDW, N94, and you're good. Um, now if you get downed, then it's a good thing that you have Who's Who. Because, um... With Who's Who in solo, I'm not sure if this is just a glitch that happened with me. What the heck? Anyways, Who's Who is activating now because I messed up. Because I shot the slick fire in the wrong place. Okay. I'm not sure if this is a glitch with me, but in the past, the zombies have not chased me when I had Who's Who. But they are right now. What the heck? They're supposed to not chase you from what I've seen. But anyways, you want to revive yourself if you can. Fast enough, I, I probably won't. Ah, oh, so close too. Anyways, that's basically the strategy. You want to run a rape train in there for the rest of the game with a slicker fire. That's how I did it to round 40. And that's basically all you need to know about the strategy. That was a very unfortunate death, but... <laughs> oh well. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will be um, uploading a shorter version of this soon. That's just in one video. That will briefly explain all of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.